Okay, first up, we have this super skinny thermistor. We've actually stocked thermistors for quite a bit. Uh, this is a 10K NTC thermistor. It's just like really skinny uh, and really small. So it's perfect for if you have to like measure the temperature of something where you can't fit a DS18B20, you can't fit an MCP9808, whatever. This thing is so slim. Maybe I'll show on the overhead how slim it is. Yeah, do it. Okay, so this is the overhead. And this is so skinny. I mean, it's like, I think I, in the specs, I think it's like a half a millimeter or something. Um, very, very, I mean, there's a little bit of a bump where the sensor is, but it's very slim. Uh, so if you measure this with a multimeter, it's going to be 10 kilo ohms at room temperature. And then as it gets warmer, I think, there's this goes down, it goes up, I can never remember. Um, you know, check uh, our tutorial we have on uh, thermistors. We have a tutorial on, on using these kinds of thermistors. You'll want a 1K, uh, sorry, a 10K 1% resistor to go with it as a resistor divider. Um, and then you measure the resistance. Uh, so you measure the voltage made by the divider. Uh, the voltage goes up and down um, based on the temperature. And then we have some Arduino code that you can use to convert that back into temperature. Okay, next up. Okay. Next up, we've got this really cool uh, Lincoln Bins case. And, and here's, you know, there's like, we have so many Raspberry Pi 4 cases. You're like, what is great about this? Uh, the great thing about this case is it brings all the ports out to one side. Oh, bring back. So, so you'll see, if you look at this, you're like, oh, yeah, there's like the Raspberry Pi Ethernet and USB ports. I'm like, wait a minute. The power and HDMI are right next to it. How is it doing that? I'm glad you asked. So um, what they do is they include this little, like, adapter thingy. Um, the green board at the top, and when you plug that into your Pi 4, it turns it into all the ports in a row. So I thought I'd show this on the overhead. It's a good idea. Yeah, this is kind of, this was like the killer. Wait, you zoomed in so much. Wait, you didn't zoom in so much. Okay. So this is the adapter. This is my Pi 4, right? So it's under this metal case, which is, this metal thing is, is like a little protector thingy. Uh, so when you slide it in. Um, and you can see here, um, these are the HDMI and USB, and then there's zip, zip, right over here, so that it all comes out one end, and then this slides in nicely into uh, the enclosure. The enclosure is metal, the ends are plastic. Why? So that the Wi-Fi can get out. So this is this is a cool Pi 4 case. Okay. I just love that all the ports are on one side. That's gonna be very useful for somebody. Maybe me. Yeah, all right, next up. Um, okay, we've got more compute modules are slowly trickling in. This is the compute module 4 for the Raspberry Pi. Um, this one has 16 gigabytes of onboard MMC flash, so you don't need an SD card with it. So you can save, you know, 10 bucks, don't need an SD card. Has 2 megabytes of RAM, and it has Wi-Fi. And it plugs in nicely into the... Whoa, there's too much stuff on here. The compute uh, board. So this is the compute I.O. board sold separately, as they say in advertisements. Um, it gives you the HDMI ports, the Ethernet, the USB, SD card, PCIe, GPIO, multiple camera, and um, display ports and like power supply and all that good stuff. So it's a good development environment. And this is the module itself, which I'm going to delicately remove. It's got the Hiroshi connectors on the bottom. They plug into here. Um, here's the Wi-Fi port. Here's the Wi-Fi chipset underneath. Power supply is over here, kind of like a cool little like domino look. Um, this is the, the RAM is on top. This is the flash memory, and this is the uh, power monitor. Is it even, what is this? Uh, what is it, the BCM? I don't remember what that chip is. I thought it was Ethernet. Maybe it's a power monitor or it's a controller or something. Um, but yeah, this is the um, full Raspberry Pi compute module. So. Um, the ones we had already did not have Wi-Fi. What's nice is that there's a built-in antenna. We also sell the antenna kit. Uh, you plug in the UFL and you get the pre-certified antenna. So that will speed up your um, certification process. And then you know, start development on the compute module I.O. board. has everything. And then when you're ready to go into manufacture, you just, you know, design your board, take away all the things you don't need, keep the things you do need. All right. Next up. Okay, finally we have in stock um, the Hi5 Inventor Kit. Yay! So if you are interested in uh, RISC-V chips, you want this uh, happy hand that's Doctor Who themed. It has multiple RGB LEDs on the front. Uh, it comes with um, connectors and this case and a speaker, uh, USB battery and everything. 
Um, there's an online uh, teaching system. So we've actually previewed this, and, and if you see our other video, uh, you know, for this product, you can um, yeah, see it live. But uh, we finally have them in stock. Um, there's an online system for programming it. I believe there's also maybe MicroPython available for it. Um, and also, if you want to do low-level development, there's STSDK. So, uh, you know, you like High 5 uh, Risk 5 chips, you want a development board that has everything built in, can be used by kids and adults, here you go. Okay, and last up to start of the show tonight, besides you, Lady, the, our community, our team, our customers is... Um, the Raspberry Pi Pico Pin reference. Yay, we ordered this. Uh, they finally came in. Um, so we're going to uh, probably pack these in with some of our Raspberry Pi Picos when we get more, which we don't know when that is. Um, but uh, when we do have them, we'll probably, you know, maybe we'll include them in, in some orders. Um, this has a quick start guide on the back, how to get started with CircuitPython, including some CircuitPython codes. So you're like, how do I blink the onboard LED and print to the serial monitor? Um, it, you know, a quick start guide on the back uh, for CircuitPython. And on the front, it is a uh, life-size... Oh, uh, life-sized pinout diagram. Uh, so the, yeah. the, the Pico has the Raspberry Pi aesthetic, which means it does not have GPIOs uh, labeled. So I have one of these cards on my desk and I use it every day. It has, um, you know, all the GPIOs and the peripherals. Like, is it an I2C pin or, or uh, you know, can you mux it with the UART and which PWM output, uh, which ones are the power pins and what power output. So this has everything on it. Um, you know, it's it's life-sized, so I can even show on the overhead. It's, you know, you put the the Pico on top and oh, oh let me uh, focus. There you go. And you can zoom in. Uh, so this is the Pico goes on top of here, uh, and then you can see all the labels. So GPIO labels and uh, all the capabilities SPI, I squared C, etc. Yeah. And then um, we've got some notes here about what the power supplies do, and then a color code as well. And that's my favorite new product. All right. 